am the Gaming Beaver and welcome back. This is a Jurassic Park tournament video and today the results are in. You voted for what you wanted as your as to be fully leveled up as a, a glacier kind of creature and today is the results. Do you want to know who won? Let's have a look. Megalania won and in close second was the uh, giant ape. So we've got a giant lizard and a giant ape. We've got King Kong right here. This is what we got going. But before I even show you those and level them up to fully starred, I, uh, there's something else here. The 48 hours promo of the Smilodon. Um, I don't think I have it. Do I have it? Let me just check, because I know I have some saber-toothed cat. Uh, oh yeah, the Proco... Pro... Pro... The Procoptodon was on limited edition not too long ago, and I was like, oh damn, I should be recording this, and I was on my phone, and I click, quickly just clicked the uh, the free one, and I got that, and it was right there and then. Like, I got it in the first try, and it was free. <laughs> I wish I'd recorded my reaction for that, because I was like, what? So here we go. Smilodon, ooh! Um, that is the classic uh, saber-toothed cat, the Smilodon. That's what people... people uh, call it the saber tooth cat, but saber tooth cat or tiger was a name given to a big group of um, cats that are around, and they all have different names. But this one is Thicalis Millis or something like that. So, guess what we're gonna do? We've got the box, we have the power. Ah, oh, no, damn it, I clicked the XP thing again. So, how much you bet we're gonna get in the first one? I think it's gonna be in one of these two because whenever you don't get the two expeditions, like this one or this one, it's there. How much you bet? What? Oh my god! You were kidding me! Oh, just after what I said about not getting it, uh, not recording the Prococoptodon. Proco? The Procoptodon one. And here it is! Oh, that's amazing. Oh, I'm, oh, this game so wants me to have all the Glacier Dinosaurs. So, I, I think I've seen the, the uh, giant apes final form, but I haven't seen the lizard. Oh! Ooh, yellow stripes like yellow yellow pattern so it, this one just is gonna be leveled up uh, I don't know if the giant apes gonna have enough food left over to level up but I guess we could have a look at them anyway Ooh, we got kind of like a white trim around this 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 uh, big gorilla this one is 9228 whereas he's 6999 so the, the ape is gonna be more so let's just level it up Oh, look at that, I had over 2 million food, and actually, I I have 1,800,000, so that's it. That's your choice, what you voted for. The first leveled up glacier creature I have is is the uh, the the lizard. It's a shame that you all voted for carnivores. <laughs> I was wondering, oh, I could, I could probably uh, level up. So if I have enough um, left over, I might hold another vote and ask you guys what you want to see uh, leveled up, but first I'll just level this guy. Oh wow, he's huge. That's 10,000, 11,000, 11,500. And again, we have like, we have 1 million, almost 500,000. That's so much. Still left over. So, uh, what I am thinking of doing is actually holding another vote since these two are already like leveled up completely. And I've got so much left over. Um, you guys can vote for what you want to see, whether we have the Prococoptodon. Keep calling it the Proco. The Proco Coco Pops. <laughs> we have that. We have um, we have the Smilodon that's ready. We also have the Marichuana thing, which uh, I had no idea that I was going to get that. So there's that, the Prococoptodon, and the... Uh, this match went in. Those are those are new. And you can vote for whichever one you want. It could be. It could even be like this little angry red ball thing. I don't think it's very good because I think it's the first thing you get. But if you want the tiger, just uh, leave it in the comments below. And uh, and like death panda. That's a good one. I, th I saw somebody vote for death panda. <laughs> oh, the terror birds. The terror birds look pretty awesome. I want to see what they look like with their uh, final final shading colors. Okay, so you can vote for anyone you want. Death Panda is pretty awesome. Uh, Moldy Elephant. How about uh, how about beautiful Woolly Mammoth? That bad thing. I don't I don't even even know if it'll be any good because it's it's one of the first ones you get. Um, so I will level up the Smilodon 
He will. I'll, I kind of like to get them to level two so you can see what they look like because the next stage in their evolution is just a sort of highlight. I mean, that's what I've seen so far. So uh, let's move on to the tournament because I haven't touched this in such a long time because I have my disconnection problems and then um, they had the update and I think since the update I'm okay. I think I'm alright. How, how are you guys feeling about this? Because I, I looked at it. Um, actually, before I did this recording, I had a quick check of the tournament. And, like, the all-star, what was up for grabs was 20 bucks. I can't believe that. 20 bucks for the all-star cub. That's ridiculous. That's, I mean, I guess it would have been 40 because they did slash everything in half, and they are preparing for the glacier to come out, and I'm I'm wondering when that's going to happen, because we did have a couple of months wait between the uh, battle arena and the tournament, so it could be around about Christmas time when we see the glacier part coming out. So, uh, you can also leave a comment telling me what you'd like me to see, like, play, like, what kind of uh, creatures you want me to use, and uh, which ones you want me to level up, because... I think I've I've leveled up quite a few. Uh, I could take you to have a look at my um, my aquatic creatures, and you could you could check to see um, which ones you. I mean, I wanted to use the bronze. I so did when this restarted. I thought, oh, we can use bronzes because the normal Jurassic Park players use their bronze and silvers when they're in like the bronze and silver like leagues, but now they just they when you're in aquatic. I think I got to silver. I think it was silver, and just automatically, they they just had friggin' oh no we have the 120 we have the 121 today. Uh, it used to be 240. That's right, it used to be 240. So, what we're probably gonna do, we're gonna go. Oh my god, how many? I was gonna say, can we get to the aquatic one? But I don't think so. I don't think we can get to the aquatic one. Um. Because we're going to need to at least do this about three times. And then when we've done that, we have to do we have to do this one. The Uteranosaurus, I'll probably record another time. Because there is a point where this is aquatic. Uh, the gold is always, always regular Jurassic Park. But the, uh, the um, Platinum, I think it's Platinum. The Platinum League can switch between aquatic and Jurassic. And so can the uh, All-Star. So, there is, we just have to get through this. Um, so, let's see who we go up against. Again, I have no idea if they're bots or real people. Honestly, I have no idea. Uh, you, you guys are saying that it's odd they don't have second names, but then other people are saying they don't have second names for, uh, you know, private reasons. You know, they don't want to give away. Oh my god, look at it! Look at it, it's so beautiful! Oh god, that's so bad! <laughs> oh, look at this Brachiosaurus! <gasps> Oh, okay, okay. T-Rex against Spinosaurus, guys. How about it? Do you want it? Do you want to do it? I want to do it. I want to do a bronze, fully leveled uh, Spinosaurus against a not leveled gold T-Rex. You guys have wanted to see it. I've wanted to see it. Bring it on. Can the Spinosaurus be a T-Rex? When it's fully, fully leveled. So, again, this is going to be random. I don't really like the random, randomness of it. Oh, we get a light. And that's not so good. Oh, he goes for a special. I could do a lot of damage to us. To, to us? Oh, he survives. The Spinosaurus. Can he do it? This is, this is Jurassic Park 3 playing out right here. I kind of want the T-Rex to win. Oh, we go for a medium, but he blocks it. Can we survive? Oh, he gets a light. Come on, Spinosaurus, you can do this. Uh, you know what? Use your special. He's used his. It's time for you to use yours. Come on. Hit. Oh, that's it. T-Rex is out. T-Rex is out of there, and it's his cousin, the Uteranosaurus. Gets the heavy and wipes out the Spinosaurus, so I I'm kind of happy with that. Uh, let's just go for a normal attack. This Gallimimus can probably take on everything here. Oh, this is great. Uh, I think, was it Dragon Awesome Guy 333? Or Awesome Dragon Guy 333? You wanted me to call out your name? There it is in this video. And, and somebody was saying to me, uh, I think I was, I, I was saying, what's the best way to kill a shark if you were being attacked by one? And they replied with the awesome answer of, 
kick it in the balls and run away. <laughs> and it just led me to thinking, can you imagine if uh, a shark was like in the water, you know, you see that dorsal fin? Imagine if it was just a pair of balls. <laughs> oh god, shark. Oh dear. So it looks like this Eutoranosaurus is definitely out of here and it brings in the Taurosaur. This is great! I get to use some of my bronzes that I never use! Oh! And at the moment, this is a really viable way for me to uh, make bucks. Right now, I mean, I have to win. And even when I win, I get cups. So I can't stay in gold league forever. Oh, he survived! The Taurosaur survived? It's gonna be up to my uh, Pterodactyl. I think it's ter Pterodactylus? Is it Pterodactylus? Yeah, why the Lus? Is it lustful? And that's it! Did we, yeah, we've won! Spinosaur versus T-Rex! That's, uh... That's awesome. I've kind of wanted to see that for ages, but never, never have I had a chance, because in the normal battle park where you kind of go through it, T-Rex is at the end and he's really high leveled up. But that was amazing. Oh, I'm so glad you guys got to see that. I'm glad I got to witness that, too. So, uh, I'm gonna try to make, make, uh, if they're from different areas and so we've got another t-rex this time it's leveled up what would you like to see fight a t-rex um what would i like to see fight a t-rex um uh, how about an allosaur like the jurassic big predator against the uh jurassic like the biggest one of the biggest jurassic predators uh, probably not actually because Jurassic you had huge sauropods and then you had Giganotosaurus and stuff like that, but but hey, I'm pretty sure that's from Jurassic. So we got the two two fierce carnivores against each other and uh, I think they're evenly matched. These guys are evenly matched. Here it is leveled up, but uh, the Allosaur is in silver, the silver league, so The only thing I've really got to worry about is that Crethosaur because that's in its third evolution. Let's use the Allosaur special. I think the Allosaur is going to do more damage though. Is he? Are you going to do more damage? Not if it's blocked, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Javier. Is that it? That's how you say the name? Javier? Oh, he, got, he gets lucky and he gets the heavy. Damn. Okay, we're just going to have to go go for a uh, uh, just a normal attack. Oh, we got a light, but anyway, they block. So, again, if you're wanting to win, you know the tactic. Save all your blocks for last. So we could win if he gets a light or a medium. What's he gonna get? I'm gonna say medium. I think he's gonna get the bite. Oh no, we get a light! Awesome! And that sound effect that T-Rex does, that's straight from Jurassic Park. And we get a medium. 890 and almost half, so... Can this Allosaur bring it back? Can it do it? If we get a heavy... Yes, that's it! The Allosaur takes out the T-Rex! Oh my god, T-Rex. Doesn't, isn't having a good day of it all. So we're going to Brontosaurus. Uh, would the Allosaur and Brontosaurus have been around at the same time? I think they might have. Uh, were they in the Americas? I think so. Yeah, these two might have fought against each other. But in this round, the Allosaur loses. And out comes Big Jaw himself. I, I like to call this guy Gormless. Because the bottom jaw looks so off. Like, it's not straight. It's like they molded it wrong. So, Carithosaurus! Oh my god, it goes. It's Chewbacca! Listen to that sound effect. Oh my god. Why? Why did they choose like the same sound effect for Chewbacca as the Carithosaurus? I'll never understand it! Oh dear. Oh, we get a heavy. Oh, that's it, that final block's gone, and we, we can run through this team. Again, with the Chewbacca cry and special. So, yeah, I think our Acrocanthosaurus. Is it out? Oh, he just survived! Come on, Gormus. Uh, I don't think... I don't think his special is going to do anything. Oh, we can look with the heavy anyway! Oh, it survives. Just survives. So he's out, basically. Yeah, he can just get the heavy. He just get the heavy. And Trudon! Huge brain for a tiny little carnival. Actually, not tiny. It was, it was alright size, really. Uh, huge eyes. Huge brain, usually. That's what it means. If you've got big eyes, you've got big brain. In the animal kingdom, usually. Either that or you, you can just see very well. <laughs> so, here we go into the grand final. Who against Debra? Because Debra. <laughs> and, uh, who shall we use? It depends what she puts out. So far, we've had T Rexes on every turn. 
And we come with the Iguanodon! 290. Oh, Carnotaur! The Bull Dinosaur. Bull Lizard. Uh, averaging still 712. These guys like to go for the. Uh, can we? Do you think we can do it sin single handedly? I don't think we can. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll put I'll put my Pachyrhinosaurus in, and then I'll put these guys in to see if like <laughs> if we get down to the Dilophosaur and the Dilophosaur wins, that will just be amazing. I think the Pachyrhinosaurus could do this leap just himself if I just kept on buying him back. Uh, nice colors. It must be third, third or no? Yes, third evolution. So we get lucky, we do a light and they block that light, so... Oh, they go for the heavy. Iguanodon's not too great, actually. Iguanodon's pretty dismal. In order of best dinosaurs, it goes T-Rex because it has the best attack. Then, personally, it goes Dryosaur. Because Dryosaur has... I think Dryosaur has better health than the Stegosaurus. And its attack is around about the same. So it goes T-Rex, Dryosaur... Look at that, a light! That was a light hit. Oh no, it was a medium, wasn't it? Sorry. Is, is light. Oh my god, what the hell happened there? He didn't even attack, he just kind of roared and I fell over. Yeah, so T Rex, Dryosaur, and then probably Stegosaur. Just, I, I don't really like Stegosaur in this game. Um, oh, a switch? Into the Amargosaurus. Uh, tactical? Was it? I don't know. Look, that's a light and it takes a quarter of its health out. Like. And 56! <laughs> oh, this is... I don't want to watch this. Oh, I don't want to watch that. I really didn't want to watch that. It, it's out of there. But this is really good, because... Um, I like how the Jurassic Park Park makes it fair. So, if you're in the Gold League, it's not going to go in with uh, really good ones. Whereas the Aquatic Park does. It, uh, it doesn't go in with good ones. It will stay the same no matter what league you're in, depending on what level your creatures are. So if you had just everything, uh, if you just had bronzes, then you'll only go up against uh, bronzes and silvers that are around about the same same uh, level. Even maybe golds that are like the same level. So they'll probably be level 5 golds. Uh, tell me if that's right, that's my theory. Because as soon as I jumped into silver with the, uh, the aquatic, I was fighting golds, like I'd been fighting in uh, All-Star. And that doesn't make sense, because shouldn't I be fighting golds and really good people in Jurassic Park? Like this one? I don't know. I, I, I don't think something ring, rings true about it. That's why it's, it's a bit sketchy. Ooh, should we do one more? We'll do one more, and then in the next episode, we'll do a final gold, and then we'll wait for the aquatic in the uh, platinum, and then we'll, we'll, we'll crack on with that one. So, who, who's going to fight this time? This, this Spinosaurus is kind of out of it. Um, I'm enjoying this because I think my connection problem is fixed. And also, I'm getting books. And I couldn't be happier at this rate. It's a good investment. But when it gets to the All-Star League, you, you, it's really, you can only do it like once a day. Uh, so, ooh, go for the Gallimimus. Uh, I kind of want to bring in like this, these bronze guys. Um... Yeah, it's gonna have to be Parasaurolophus, Comsognathus, and waiting in the wings. Uh, we'll put we'll put an Iguanodon. Screw, we're putting an Iranosaurus. <laughs> I got a bit worried there. I thought, wait, what? What if they're, they're bronzes? What if I lose? Oh wow, look a fucking Iranosaurus without its colors. I forget what they look like when they're not evolved. Oh, this is quite nice. See, even when he's not evolved, he has a lot of health. He doesn't do too much damage, but Pachyrhinosaurus is really high. Um, sometimes I might even favor Pachyrhinosaurus over Stegosaur. Just because it, it, it's really under underestimated in this league. Like, look at that. I mean, it is against a bronze, but this, they're around about average, average uh, dinosaurs fighting each other here. So bronzes can take on the golds when you're in the gold league, as long as they're fully leveled up, so you haven't got anything to worry about. Um, really. And the ferocity race ratings there, just to just to... I cannot talk! The ferocity ratings there, just to say to you, don't worry. Uh, it's usually about right. Oh god, this guy looks so plain. That Iguanodon. Just think of, like, when it evolves, it's all purple and blue, and it's like an Aurorus. Are you gonna block? Oh, of course you're gonna block, because I, I luckily got my heavy, but no, they knew. So 
So Compi's, uh, I think it has more attack than Parasaurolophus, but not as much health. Uh, and he's just gonna go ahead and block everything. Uh, oh, we go. Get lucky. Um. Oh, right, that's it. I can't block this. Oh, okay. I was, I was hoping that it was gonna be out, actually. I wanna see a bronze one hit something. Oh, God, he gets he gets lucky with the heavy. I'm kinda glad I put my Ranosaurus in. That could have put another bronze in, actually. At this rate, it could have been a full bronze team taking on the uh, golds. And here comes in Montosaurus. Oh, yeah, yeah, the copy's definitely out. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, on to Aranosaurus. The Aranosaurus could have taken them all on, to be honest. Um, what are we going to get? We get a we get a medium, and that's taken off half health. If we get another medium, it's out. That's it. Waste, waste all your claws. You can do that. I don't care. Whew. Okay, come on, Aranosaurus. We can do this. And that's it. That's it. We're into the semi-final. I haven't seen the Aranosaurus ever win in, in these battles. Because I've always played in the All-Star League. And that's when the T-Rex or Stegosaurus or Dryosaur always win. Maybe the Pachyrhinosaurus. So it's really nice to see these these young, young little, little dinosaurs win. I never understood that. I don't, I don't understand how, like, a Triceratops gets beaten off a Compsognathus. It, it doesn't work in real life that way. Let's bring in Brachiosaur. You don't see Brachiosaur that often. Uh, as well as Taurosaur. And uh, we're going to need something good just to uh, hold in on there. And then for the final, I think I'll just put in a T-Rex. Like the T-Rex by itself. Um, the Albertosaurus, that's probably going to take it all on. Shall I risk it? Shall I risk the T-Rex just by himself? I think I, I think I can. I think I can risk it. Oh, we got leveled up Pachyrhinosaurus here. He's got his little brown spots. And he, he's changed a slightly different shade of brown. The smelliest type of brown. Oh, we're getting a heavy. And of course they block. That's why I, that's why I think they're PCs, because... They, they seem to do it just when you get lucky and get the heavy. And they don't know, you don't know what they're going to do. And there we get a, we get a medium? I think that's a medium. Yeah, I think that's a medium. And uh, they didn't block. We'll get a heavy now, and they will block. Just watch. Okay, okay, that was a light, so... That, uh, that's. Oh, my team's a bronze, silver, and gold. We got a whole mix of them. I didn't even realize that. I was just picking the ones that I wanted. Come on, Brachisaur. Take on this gold. You're a bronze. Do it for your team. Come on. Yes. Oh, no, no. Oh, he died. <laughs> he, like, swiped his legs away. Okay. Come on, Taurosaur. Show this Show this guy who's boss. He's probably going to go for a special now. No, but he gets the heavy. Really? That's perfect. They, that's what they wanted. They want... Yuji wanted the heavy there. Uh, we can go for a medium. Ah. Well, you know the tactic, if you use your blocks first, you're going to lose. And it's lovely to see the comments of people who, who've just found my series and have started watching it, and then have commented saying, wow, I use this exact series, like, uh, series, this exact strategy. Because it works, but I haven't, I don't think I've ever seen anybody use it on me. It's been very close. I think there has been times when people have used all their specials and then kept their block to last. But um, I've never seen someone save everything to last. Never. So in the grand scheme of things, we are losing very badly. But my Albertosaurus is going to run through them with uh, with a lot with specials or even normals actually. I don't. I, I've never understood this Gallimimus. Why is his tail so droopy? He looks like he's. Oh, I hate my life. But look at him. He's so sad. The posture. He's all kind of hunched and. Droopy. Gallimimus should be happy and tail like straight or even curled up a little bit. So, Albertosaurus is huge in this game. I don't think it was really that big, especially against Amargosaurus. And you just saw how much that special did. Should we return fire? Yeah, let's return fire. Amargosaurus is one of those rare DNAs you get. Or, uh, sorry, it's not rare DNAs, you have to buy them actually. And does it survive? Yeah, it, it really didn't stand a chance. I wouldn't be surprised even if it had just 2,000 health. Oh dear. So, on to the final. Should we use the T-Rex? I want to use the T-Rex. 
Is it against Zane? Oh, I wanted to be against the little plants for zombie sunflower. We're against Tharanga? Tharanga. Soap! Um Should we use the T-Rex? I wanna use it. Oh, dry soul's in. Dry soul's good. Already half my ferocity. Oh, okay, I can't I can't take too many risks here. Uh Uh, I'll put in the Ankylosaur just in case and the Pteranodon, but honestly, I think the T-Rex has won this. I would put the- I put them in just for like a safe- a safe kind of- what you call it? Safe? Safe option? A safe, I can't think of the word. But yeah, look, look how impressive the colours are on the T-Rex in uh, comparison to the uh, Dryasaur. Oh god, that, that was a heavy straight off the bat. If you hadn't have blocked that, he probably could have died. Yeah, I think I, I think I underestimated the T-Rex. <laughs> oh, is it out? Yeah, it's out. This is a bloodbath. Um, oh, Pterodactyl uses fly. A two-turn move. Um, <laughs> no, it's not Pokemon. <laughs> but it looks, it looks cool. Uh, how much damage? 1,800. That's quite a fair bit, actually. I don't know if this pterodactyl is leveled up. It's purple, so I think it is leveled up. And not the normal pterodactyl is just kind of blacky, black, blacky blue. And we are getting really lucky with these uh, heavies on the on the normal attacks. But we're also getting unlucky with them. Keep doing their blocks, damn it! Oh yeah, yeah, that pterodactyl didn't stand a chance. And onto the stegosaur. When I first started playing this game, I preferred their normal colours. I really did. I, when I evolved one and it turned weird, greeny, oranges, I was like, but what is this? I just want the normal colours. They look realistic. But uh, they look quite impressive like this. Uh, oh, we get another! We are getting so lucky! I think everyone we've done has been a heavy. Uh, you can use all the specials you want. This T-Rex is going to rinse the floor with you. So actually, ferocity level doesn't make a difference because they almost had the same ferocity as this T-Rex. But as you've seen, the T-Rex can sweep them with one hit. And another heavy! Is that it? Okay, this has been an amazing uh, episode for uh, T-Rex getting its ass whooped. And in the end, it really showing us why you want to spend all the bucks on it. And in the next episode, we're going to get, we're going to do one more. We're going to get through to uh, Platinum, and it's going to be uh, Aquatic, and we're going to do it. We're also, uh, I'll probably count up the comments in the uh, in the previous video, maybe even do that, and level up the next Glacier creature you want to see. Uh, if there's a rare DNA out, somebody messaged me saying, oh, the, the Hanadus is out. And I missed it. I missed the Hanadus when it was out. I've never seen it on offer, ever. So it really annoyed me. And that was only because I was away from my uh, computer and phone. So, and it was like a 24 hour thing, so I couldn't even get it. And that sucked. That really did suck. So, uh, if you leave a comment, I do read them all. Uh, I try to get back to them as well. And telling me that there's a Hernandez out or something out, I will try my best to get them and spend all this bucks on uh, showing you these new creatures. So, until next time, bye bye